Hey y'all, it's another Self Love Self Care Sunday and we are going to Target. We're going to do some hygiene shopping. So I've seen that you guys like to see the hygiene. That video did really well. So I was like, let's bring you guys hygiene shopping with me. Let's do a little bit of vlogging. Haven't done a vlog in a while. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so in my head I was like oh my goodness but I think it's gonna turn out good and I will see you guys when we get to Target definitely gotta get Starbucks first before we start but I can't wait So this is like one of my favorite soaps because of the hyaluronic acid and the hyaluronic acid is just so nourishing to the skin. We'll talk more about this when I get home but we're definitely putting this in the cart and as you guys can see we are hygiene shopping. We also have the Dove Exfoliating Polish. I've told you guys about this, but basically the goal of today is to kind of just show you guys how I've been shopping for my hygiene, why I pick these products, and my must-haves, basically. Absolutely love this. I just wanted to see. Alright guys, so I'm in the toiletry aisle and I just wanted to show you guys the wipes that I usually get. Alright guys, so I just got back from Target and there were so many people. I don't know why there were so many people, but there were so many people at Target. Like, every aisle I went down, there's another person or a person that was already there, or like multiple people. And then there were kids running around everywhere. It was way too chaotic. It was way too chaotic. But I have everything. So this is kind of gonna be like the haul portion of the vlog. Um, I will try to keep it short and simple. So, yeah. Okay, so where we left off in Target, I believe I was in the toiletry aisle. And the toiletry aisle is where there's like, you have the paper products um, for paper towels, paper napkins, stuff like that. And then you also have toilet paper, tissues, like all of that stuff. I told you guys in my last video, not my last video, my other video that I spoke about feminine hygiene to where I said that I do use wipes but I don't use any particular like feminine wipes I just use regular ones because even though that area down there is uh, sensitive I haven't had any sensitivities to the wipes that I use so you know what's broke what you know if it's not broken don't change it you know whatever that mess whatever that saying is so I just use the these wipes these are the Cottonelle flush wipes and I use the ones with the little plumber on the top so that you know that they're definitely flushable I feel like in the past I have tried to use the ones that are specifically for like 
um, feminine needs and stuff like that. Or just to like, you know, up the feminine hygiene down there. And they didn't flush properly. So that's kind of weird with that. But I like the Cottonelle ones because this is $4 and it comes with two sets of wipes. So you can keep one in your car or you can keep and then you can keep the other one in your bathroom or if you want to just keep it all in your bathroom you absolutely can and then you can get one of those you can get one of sorry i heard my door move you can get one of those travel size plastic containers where you can put wipes into it and you could put that in your car i did get some stuff that i keep in my car as well so i'm going to show you guys that too so those are the wipes that I use. I didn't have last time to show you guys, so I wanted to show you in this video specifically. I also got a travel size mouthwash. I've always used the Listerine mouthwash, or my household, I should say, has always used the Listerine one. I know TikTok made the TheraBreath one like really popular, but like I said, like if it's not broke don't change it you know i got the antiseptic one because it kills 99.9% .9 of germs that cause bad breath plaque and gingivitis and it is ADA accepted which is the American Dental Association so I got two of these I got one to place in where's like where my stuff in the bathroom is and then I got another one to put in my car so I have two of those. Then I have a miniature deodorant spray that looks like this one, but it is the cucumber um, scent. I have that one in my car already. This one right here is the one that you guys have seen me rant and rave about. I love the coconut and cucumber scents from Dove, but the coconut one is definitely my favorite definitely a staple in my feminine hygiene routine so I got the giant one to refill up on because mine is running out and then I have the miniature advanced care the antiperspirant deodorant and I believe that this one is the coconut one it has a pink stripe on it so it's either coconut or their rose petal but this one I'm gonna put in my car because sometimes you wanna you wanna do one of the regular one of the spray you know it depends on what you really feel like that day honestly the spray gets me along fine but just in a care kit in your car it's nice to have this one yeah this is like the coconut one I'm pretty sure yeah okay so is that the no okay so then I also got the travel size native body wash um, mm -hmm. I wanted to try it because I've been seeing it a lot on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, wherever there's content creators talking about their routines. I have seen it and you know, I'm definitely a Dove girl, but I like to try different things. Like I've tried the Method body washes. I love them. I like to try this as well. And you know, you guys know I like the Olay body wash too. So I saw that they had this in the minis and so I was like, I will definitely try it. It's made with simple, safe, effective ingredients, and this is coconut and vanilla, which I love. So we're definitely going to try this. I just got it in the miniature size to try it. I did not want to get that gigantic size. What if I didn't like it? What am I going to do with that? <laughs> right? So, yeah. So those are all of the miniatures. Now... I also restocked up on the Olay Hyaluronic Acid. I started telling you guys about this in the store in Target, but there were just so many people, guys. It was absolutely crazy. So with this, you guys know, I told you guys this when I was first introducing this um, product to you guys. I love this product specifically for the, vi the Hyaluronic Acid and the Vitamin B3 Complex. I switch out 
these two and that's why they are low at the same time because sometimes my body does need a little bit more hydration meaning hyaluronic acid and sometimes uh, my body is pretty moisturized and hydrated so I just go in with the Dove pampering so it really depends on how my day is and really just how I'm feeling and that's why I always feel like you should have more than one body wash because sometimes your skin might need more than what the other body wash gives like this one Dove is always moisturizing because that's their whole brand but this one is just moisturizing it's not gonna give me that hydration that this serum body wash would give me you know because this is a serum body wash that's what they would call this and so this is continuing to help my skin barrier. I don't have to use it every day. I would say I mostly use this one two to two times a week, maybe two to three times a week. And then, sorry. And then this one, the Dove one is like my main body wash. It also smells so good. That's the other thing too. Like how do you want to smell that day? Cause some days, I do want to smell like the full-on vanilla, cocoa butter, you know, scent. And then some days I want to smell more floral with vanilla mix. And so that's where I'll pick this. So it really depends. Okay, so those two we absolutely love. And I told you guys about the deodorant. And then i also have my cocoa butter i've had this cocoa butter for a while like they even changed the bottle so i definitely need more but i have enough in here um cocoa butter because my skin on my body can get really dry especially with these upcoming winter well fall winter months my skin can get really dry and i mean like it can get rough it can get crackly especially on the thinner parts like my feet or my ankles we want to make sure that all stays moisturized and soft and smooth and all of that stuff so whenever you guys see my feminine hygiene routine you will see those soft rejuvenating replenishing restoring like you'll see those words and those ingredients and stuff because that's what my body needs so absolutely and then I have my body oil from Vaseline. I love this because it has the uh, pure, it's literally pure coconut butter in Vaseline form. And it's really nice. It makes your skin glow. It helps with the dull skin. But then it also helps moisturize your skin. So this is just another a moisturize helper, if you will. So, yeah, um, I think that is everything. Oh, and then my toothpaste is just like crust. But I think, I think that's everything. Oh, no. I also, if we're getting into like fragrance, um, my lotion fragrance is always going to be vanilla. It's going to be vanilla something. So I use the Victoria's Secret one. I was going to bring you guys into Victoria's Secret. I was also going to bring you guys into Ulta. But the mall was just too busy for me. I got overwhelmed. I was like, I need to go home. <laughs> okay. But I use Victoria's Secret's Bare Vanilla um, with the cocoa butter. And it just, it smells warm and cozy and comforting. Absolutely love it. My go-to vanilla fragrance um, as far as perfume is going to be the YSL Intense Libre Intense this is my favorite vanilla perfume absolutely love it I'll put the notes on this put the notes on the screen over here but I absolutely love this perfume and a little goes a long way as you guys can see I've had this for a minute and a little goes a long way so my other vanilla fragrance is going to be the Sol de Janeiro um, Brazilian Crush number 40 this is the black amber plum and vanilla woods this literally smells like straight up vanilla I don't know what amber plum smells like but this smells like vanilla like marshmallow vanilla so I love this with all of my ingredients and products and I always say like if a product doesn't fit with my OG products it gotta go 
it's gotta go. <laughs> so Dove is a, definitely one of my number one OG brands. And then Olay is definitely a new one for me, but I, I absolutely love it. And they all blend really well together. So yeah. Ooh. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed come hygiene shopping with me. I hope that the next time I do this, which will probably be more in the winter time just to get some more like winter type of products i hope that it's less crowded <laughs> or i go to a target on a less crowded day i will see you guys in my next self-love self-care sunday bye